Welcome to Channel AMAC, your insight to the Australian visa system. Good day, everyone. My name is Carl Young, your online YouTube visa consultant. Are you interested about migrating to Australia? Why don't you consider to subscribe to my channel and turn on a little bell on the side so once we have all the updates and news, especially with some tips video that we come out, you'll be the first one to getting all the notification just like today. Uh, what I'm gonna go through with this video obviously is regards to the new 485 visa uh, which the policy has been announced last week. Uh, so it's very interestingly how the government of Australia has broadened allowing more international student to choose a certain a different type of courses in order to actually gain a temporary graduation visa which allow them to continue to stay in Australia for two years for full work rights you know how much that opportunity is opened up so in this video we're going to discuss how strategically you should utilize the new 485 visa and actually migrate to Australia now obviously um the policy talks about no more nomination required, no more skill assessment required. But we didn't. We still need to know this. If you want to go through the entire skill migration, you still need to go through skill assessment. So a lot of people come and are and left a qu question, uh, query and question to me, and in the comment section saying, "Oh, so do we? We don't need to nominate anymore to migrate." Well, my answer is no. Of course, no. Okay. It, it is an easier and simplified version of visa that allows a certain person come to Australia, study for two years, meeting the Australian study requirement and allow you to have that word right to continue to stay in Australia. And, and in, in this time with the new 45 visa, there's no more specific type of uh, occupation list required to follow with anymore in order to get that work right so that opens up for a lot of different t categories of occupation that you can actually study with to achieve with to gain the work right and furthermore to migrate so I'm gonna talk about through the very beginning until the very end so make sure you stay to the very end of this video now first of all let's check out obviously uh, we have not yet reached the 1st of July 2022 so if you go into any of the 4A5 category it will not show what's, uh, what opinion or what options that is going to be uh, already been set and put in the law uh, last week so uh, we expect that to be there by Friday because Friday will be the 1st of July now why am I in the post study work stream here is I will still strongly support that uh, as international student come come to Australia to actually study uh, a degree that is uh, on, on the um, bachelor or above why is that why am I saying that didn't the government uh, opened up uh, a, um, the graduate work stream without a nomination or without a skill assessment. Why am I still promoting post study work stream? Well, the reason is this: now, post studies, uh, post study work stream allows you to access to three years of work rights and plus one if you study and stay in regional. Okay, and that is the beauty of it. Okay, it, it actually get you further more years and it has a secondary you can access to a second 4a5 visa now if you go into the gradual work stream you're not allowed uh, to actually have a second uh, work right second 4a5 visa that is a major difference so the maximum that you can actually get for graduate work stream is only two years so if you study if you study a bachelor or above for example master it will still be more beneficial for you because you get three years if you're studying regional and staying regional you get one more year you get four years that's double of what you get for a graduate work stream so still consider but anyway it's it's for everyone's uh, option and desire to make your final decision to check but anyway this is just for everyone to know that's first strategy I'm not saying that you need to do this but you still need to consider uh, whatever the uh, career 
and portfolio that you want to build upon yourself for the best of your future. So I, that's what I'm trying to say, not just to follow the cheapest and easiest way, which is generally the wrong way. OK, don't don't just listen to a lot of agents, whatever they say, this is cheap, this is easy, you can do this, you can uh, you can put in installment and everybody's doing it. Don't just listen to everybody or someone else's opinion. Uh, follow your heart, whatever that you really seek for uh, and, and just go for whatever that you are interested with, that you are born with. OK, so do not just follow bluntly by any agents that try to promote you with the cheap courses. That's the first strategic advice that will given to everybody. Now, secondly, let's jump into this page. This page is actually created since the pandemic. So uh, the, the former government, the former Australian government, the Liberal government has actually bring you a lot of advantage to the temporary graduate visa, which including the graduate work and the PSW that we just talked about. So you you can actually do online study, but uh, because the borders are already open, so I doubt you can continue to do this anymore uh, unless the country that you are in now uh, still have restrictions to allow you to travel abroad. So if you study online outside Australia, your online study will count towards the Australian study requirement. If very important, still need to remind you, you study online while holding a student visa. So you still need to apply for student visa. You still need to get that student visa approved and granted and lodge your temporary graduate visa within six months of completing your eligible qualification. You can still lodge your 45 visa offshore that is still their options still out there and there's a replacement so people who hold a 405 visa during the pandemic uh, you may already receive an email extending your current 405 visa until september this year 2022 if you have that email if your 405 visa has been extended to september 2022 meaning that this week starting this friday you'll be able to lodge for a replacement of 485 visa so why not do it okay so from 1st of july uh your former temporary graduate visa holder who lost their time during pandemic you'll be eligible to uh, apply again and you will get the visa again and the pay the full application charge well they don't give you for free uh and you that's 1680 bucks wow um anyway and that's not something that i can put any comment on obviously i would love that to be free but you still need to apply for it they still need to be charged because there are still people in immigration required work although they were really slowly and there's still a lot of backlog going on but i assume that the uh, government of australia is putting more resources to actually uh, fasten the actual uh, procedures uh, or visa application processes uh visa extensions so, so temporary graduate visa who were eligible for replacement and that's exactly what I said. They're being extended to uh, September 2022. So they have that right to actually lodge another replacement. So this is not for the newcomers. This is for who uh, someone who already completed the studies and got their 45 visa during the pandemic. You can actually utilize that and you get more time, get another two or three years of 45 visa. Come back to Australia. Uh, get the job, get, get to work, accrue your work experiences and move forward into migration procedure if you if necessary. OK, now, third one I wanted to raise is obviously about uh, the new 405 visa. Now, obviously, a new 405 visa is exciting. Uh, you, you're not you're no longer required to nominate any occupation and no longer required to go through any skill assessment but you still need to go through english test i i got people question and leave a comment right down below and saying that oh so we what's the english requirement well it's still gonna be the same okay it's still it's still gonna be the same and also that doesn't open up for everyone just bluntly lodge for any type of courses to apply for any type of courses and from last week i've already uh, uh advice in this channel in regards just do not do not well it's your choice um don't apply for those diploma or business or leadership courses because that's too generic 
too cheap. Now, cheap is not a problem, but cheap does attract a lot of people trying to apply for it. Now, imagine immigration receiving thousands and hundreds of thousands of people applying, trying to apply for diploma of business and leadership. What would immigration officer think? Now, if you are the immigration officer, what would you think? There must be some agent trying to sell cheap courses, and these people coming to Australia is not a genuine student. So the next thing I wanted to show you is still going back to the rule. They even though they have relaxed the criteria for for the new 485 visa, but the genuine temporary entrance requirement on the student visas to apply. So before you you'll be eligible to get your 45 visa, if you haven't been successfully getting your student visa, it, it's just a dream. It's not a fact you can even you can no longer reach 485 visa. So to be you need to be genuine enough. Now how do you assess that? I've got a special video done previously. You might want to search in my channel. Uh, basically you need to tell uh, the immigration officer why you are studying this okay so I, i've i've advised a lot of, of my client look do not just apply for very generic courses obviously in the previous policy a lot of people apply for carpenter courses a lot of people apply for cookery courses uh or the uh, mechanic courses now because you're no longer required to nominate an occupation and do a skill assessment why not do something else? Why not become an IT tech with a diploma? Obviously, if you have bachelor's, better. Uh, why not become? Why not do fashion design? Why not become a graphic designer? Why not become a a a, a vet uh, supporter or community support welfare worker and things like? That? Not into a bachelor degree, but diploma. What about enrolled nurse? If you cannot become a registered nurse, you can be an enrolled nurse. Right? There are still a lot of options open for people to actually study with. How about fitness trainers? Now, previously, if you study fitness training courses, you cannot even get anything at all. But now, fitness trainer, yes, why not? You can actually get a 485 visa. So there's a lot of options out there. So do not just pick those generic diploma business, diploma leadership. Pick something of your interest. Open up your mind. What is really in your heart and what is really interest with your hobby. So pick those ones. So while you are trying to complete the general temporary entry requirement with a statement, it will be fairly easy for you to actually write it. And also, we got to remember, um, if your um, current highest qualification is going to be higher than the course that you actually pick for, you you gotta be very careful and gotta be very very detailed with a, a lot of research that you have done in order to show that you're genuineness in changing your career portfolio you need to demonstrate that and how that will benefit you and that is whatever that you're gonna write in your gte statement okay now last but not least but let's go into this one now Obviously, you know that migration, skill migration required to be a point test. You need to go through points table. Now, points table obviously is something. So what I'm trying to say here is migration does not stop at 45 visa. 45 visa is just a bridge, a visa that allows international students to stay in Australia, accrue their Australian work experiences and have the potential to migrate with skill migration. Okay, so the reason I'm showing this page is if you want to continue to stay and migrate in Australia, obviously this page is your final goal. Okay, not the 45 visa. Getting a 45 visa doesn't allow you to live and stay permanently. It only gives you two, three, four years of working right to stay in Australia. But if you want to stay permanently and migrate to Australia, you still need to get your skill migration right. Now, what do we, so the reason I'm telling you this is that you are still need to go through all these points and what else? You need to get skill assessed. You still need to get skill assessed. Now, talking about this, a lot of people 
comment over the weekend say oh so i didn't no need to do do a skill assessment so i can migrate no that's not that's not right so what happened if you study for example uh let's let's say um uh, a f fitness course fitness training course okay you study that you get your 45 visa two years great now if you do not get skill assessment done which you can with the work experiences then at the end of 45 visa what's going to happen to you your visa expires and that's basically a bye-bye you need to go home okay so although 45 visa does not allow you to do it does not does not need you to do skill assessment strong recommendation and you still need to do it because you know you want to migrate right you still need to get your skill assessment done so once you get your skill assessment done then you'll be able to access to this migration uh, point test table so you get more points to be calculated in order for you to get invited either gonna be 491 visa 190 visa or 189 visa now if you want to know more about those points how they calculated I do have a lot of video in my channel talking about this now last but not least a lot of people ask me so which state is still the best to go now obviously we are about to uh, getting to a new financial year uh, starting from July 2022 I suspect that a lot of states and territory will provide new migration policy but with the current policies I will still recommend two states now they are they should be the best state to migrate with this new 45 visa now first one will be South Australia the state of South Australia South Australia they are open for any type of occupation okay so let's say fitness you see they still got fitness center manager okay and if you start this you get 45 visa and then you can get skill assessment done and you're able to access to 491 visa as what they are saying here okay now even with you um with the haughty culture uh which is very popular oh, here we go oh did i spell anything right or uh, haughty culture oops not horse trainer even horse trainer you can do it uh oh nursery person that's the one okay haughty culture you become nursery person that's it here we go okay here we go you can actually study that and you get a four way five visa uh, and then you move forward continue with the work and you go into 491 now obviously that will be slightly changed uh, once we hit 1st of July uh, maybe they stay the same but they, maybe there will be some changes because I suspect that more quarter uh, is going to be given now the other state that will, I will strongly recommend is Queensland well they look at their website it's very futuristic so uh how do you know how do you uh go about the visa as you go to uh, skill visas but in generic although the queensland government do not provide um let's ma magnify this a bit uh do not provide a search engine like south australia does uh they basically accept any type of occupation as well as long as the, the only difference is here is that uh, any occupation that you want to be invited in Queensland now with the current policy is that you need to be employed in that occupation and secondly your IELTS is required to be proficient that means IELTS 7777 that's the only differences uh, that Queensland and the, the state of Queensland and the state of South Australia as uh, the differences so if you're not really um, uh, how confident in regards to your uh, English proficiency that I will say you know choose South Australia but if you're confident with your English proficiency then perhaps Queensland will be the best options for you anyhow we are due to have a change over for a new financial year with the new government the Labour Albanese government looks like we're gonna have very exciting future so stay tuned and obviously if you like my channel share to your friend and I see you next video goodbye